peeking through and I noticed there was a letter to my daughter and my initial impulse was to give it to her because she's always really excited yeah. to get so mail. And then I noticed that it was like an unfamiliar name, into and so I think that she was standing right there, right and I said, I'm going to open it and read it and see what this is. But, well, first of all, I said, do you know who this individual is? Because I wasn't sure if it could possibly be uh, some kind of pen pal thing at school, because they have done that in the past. She confirmed that she didn't know who that was, and so I opened it up and um, uh, started reading it and realized that although the writer was portraying himself to be a, a kid that he w in fact wasn't. And, I mean, so that was just, the sentence structure was really sophisticated. The penmanship was very good. Um, some of the word choice was very adult. Um, and because I have two kids and my son is um, in middle school, I kind of get a sense of how kids talk and it just wasn't ringing true. Although, I will say that he was pushing all of the it's really difficult. And the it's right really buttons, with the idea saying that, that he liked, di he was into dinosaurs and that he was a goth and, and, you know, was a, you know, thought he was a good looking guy and that, that kind of stuff. So he was trying, and then asking what her interests were, does she have any pets, which for my daughter and a number of friends is the way to their heart to talk about pets. So I feel like it was very sophisticated and premeditated. So I don't know what they're having to do with this. this is the main, you know, the mayor from the right, program. and so um, oh, yeah. Yeah. when did you find yeah. out oh, that, it, that it was from an inmate and that he was a sex Well, I, I immediately did a map quest, and the location didn't come. I mean, the general location came up, but I couldn't yeah, pinpoint. Really so, but I thought it was very strange that the postmark was Florida. That was one of the big red flags. Couldn't put together how that worked out. So I called my husband and I told him, as I said, he was out of town, so, and then I had to go out somewhere. And when I came back, he said, I, I have bad news for you. And that's the address of the Boulder County Jail. So I immediately called the police. Um, and they didn't send some out until the, it was the following day when the um, deputy came out and took, took the letter, took her statement. And, uh, <clears throat> I was somewhat relieved, I have to say, um, when I was informed that it was a person behind bars, even though it was shocking, because my initial concern was, is this someone stalking my child? He knows where we live. Okay, you know, is he, does he have pictures of her? Has he been watching her? I'll let you know. I'm not sure what they're going to do. You know, that was, that was my, where my first instinct went. And then to find out that at least he was behind bars, my initial reaction was some somewhat, you know, relief. But then I, I found out that, that a, then I went when I contemplated the fact so that he was perpetrating his crime from behind bars. I was just incredulous. Okay. I didn't know how this, this could possibly happen. So I called the the um, jail and had some questions for them. Yeah, what'd you ask them? Well, I said, how is it that inmates are being allowed to contact children in the community? What's up with that? Because <laughs> um, that seemed like a real oversight. Uh, for one thing, and my initial assumption was that, well, they're going to nail these guys. They're in jail, they're contacting minors, they, I was informed they were convicted sex offenders. I thought, well, these guys have really dug themselves in deep. And then I was appalled to find out that this was not illegal. That was just, I think I went around for two days saying, are you kidding me? I just couldn't believe it. Sure, I know, yeah. So. Um, I mean, what did you think, kind of, after sitting through today's hearing and seeing him and then hearing some of the testimony and stuff? <laughs> I was, I just thought it was remarkable that, that he, he appeared to me very defiant, showing up with his feathers intact and, and um, the, the way that he was, you know, conversing with his attorney and, you know, I presume asking him to ask certain things that would put him in a better light when clearly you know, the preponderance of evidence was that he was defiant. I think he displayed his defiance in the courtroom. Um, and it fits in very well, I think, with my initial impression of him, the narcissistic personality that 
the fact that they have demonstrated that these these guys and having no, you know blatant disregard for the feelings of these children and it's all about gratifying themselves um, it just the whole thing makes me sick yeah um. Sure. And so, I mean, are you aware that he could now be sentenced to life in prison? I mean, do you have something that you'd like to see happen? Or <laughs> well, I would really like to see it. I would like to see the law changed first and foremost, because if it's not currently taking place somewhere else, it very easily could, particularly as the facts of this come out. It always gives, there are always copycat issues. So I want to make sure that not only is the law changed in Colorado, but there are laws in place across the country that they haven't overlooked the mail in their rush to cover technologies like the internet and you know cell phones and that kind of thing. Right. Um, and uh, I was approached by the therapist here to, to work with them on, she said they're seeing a trend um, of the rights going towards the criminals, the perpetrators, and away from the victims. And I guess they're setting up a board to try and push back on that she asked if I would be willing to participate in that, and I told her absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know, I, th I also thought it was so hypocritical for him to for all the testimony that where where they were, you know, uh, he was quoted as saying that this is an invasion of my rights. They're getting into my head when that is precisely what he was trying to do to all of these children. I just. I, I'm just stunned by his complete disregard for people outside of himself, which I guess goes to the narcissistic personality.